What's going on guys? So today I wanted to do a review of our Ram 2500 pickup. Um, we bought this brand new in 2018 with zero miles on it. Uh, you know, we just needed something heavy duty for the dump trailer and our mulch trailer over there. You know, so um, we didn't, it's not diesel, it is the Hemi 5.7, but you know, I don't personally believe you need a diesel. So we'll go through the inside real quick. Um, it doesn't have the fancy buttons down here either. Like you, you know, I believe I believe this model's one up from the tradesman. So it's it's nothing fancy. I mean, it has the chrome, which I which I wasn't a fan of, but we got it at the end of 2018. So it we kind of got a deal on it because it was like the end of the year. I think this truck, uh, brand yeah no. We got it, like I said, brand new. It had zero miles. We have 13,000 miles on it now. But I bought it for, I believe, uh, 41000 Yeah, $41,000. Um, it was a deal. At least, I, you know, I don't know what truck prices are in other states, but it was more so what it was, you know, listed for earlier in the year when it was new, new, you know, in the winter. But... Again, we got a little bit of a deal out of it. It was list. I'm sorry, no, no, no. It was listed at forty one thousand, and we got it for thirty seven, I believe. Um, and then obviously with a down payment and all that, you know. But so the inside. Um, this is nice because it has, you know, I I needed to get the front and the back, you know, in case we gotta, you know, have guys in and out, you know. So I did put the seat covers on. That's one big thing is I didn't want to ruin the seats, as you guys saw in our other truck. These are nothing fancy. This is something off of uh, Amazon. But, again, this is nice because we can have a full six guys in here if need be. Um, but besides that, you know, that's about the inside. It has the basic tow haul. You know, it does have four-wheel drive because we do use this for snow in the winter if we ever get any. Uh, we have not. So, that is, we needed the 4x4. Four four. So, we did go with the Ram. And I went with the Ram... Just because we have another Ram over there and they kind of looked good together and I've never had problems with Ram. So that was the deal with that. Um, and what are we keeping here? Just a couple things, you know, notepad. I think there's clipboards, things like that back there. Um, we keep tools under here a little bit. This truck isn't, I don't have guys in and out of this all day. You know, this truck's mainly used for mulch and stonework, which could be three four days max from march until about you know christmas maybe but the biggest thing with this truck was the truck cap um we had to, we wanted to go with this because you know obviously we're not loading leaves in here because we use the dump trailer for that or the other pickup but you know i it was very it was very iffy i wasn't sure if you know i love it or hate it but once I realized, you know, if this truck's out doing leaves, then most of the time the other truck in the trailer's following. So I realized there was always room in the other trailers or the other truck. You know, if this truck was doing work like that, the other crew would be tailing them. So this cap, I believe, was two grand. Yeah, $2,000. Uh, it's the fiberglass cap. It has the locks back here. And I'll show you guys what my plan was with this truck cap when uh, we went with it. And you know, to be honest with you, I didn't th I didn't think it looked too bad on the Ram. You know, I mean, some of these trucks they look pretty fugly on, but it looked it looked okay. You know, I was really nervous. Um, so this is what we did. This is unorganized, so bear with me. Cooler here. The tool rack over here we built. So actually, in this upcoming week, we're we're going back in full force, but this will be cleaned out. Um, Right here is where we keep a couple trash cans, if need be, for things like I said, like pulling weeds, leaves, you know, any type of cleanup. But this is our major tool rack here. I just built, like I said, it's nothing fancy. It's a piece of wood here with three pieces on top. And we always have the ladder on top with some weed mat fabric up there. And then under here is where we keep all the tools. All the tools go into here. Um, the bigger stuff like this, stays up against the side i do have hooks back there and i'm putting one right here so we're going to keep everything up against it i would have loved to be able to screw stuff through this fiber fiber cap fiberglass cap i'm sorry but eh, we can't so it is what it is but this this was you know the biggest deal and actually too i did talk the dealership into getting me the bed liner for the truck figuring 
you know, it would have helped using it, you know, for debris and stuff like that, but we never ended up doing it. So they did throw that in also. Um, but yeah, the fiberglass cap was 2000. Um, and I don't have no regrets at all. Like I said, this is all just picture this, the tools in here, the ladder up here, these gas cans are here because they need to be filled. But you know, we guys keep their lunch here. Actually, we fit three of those large green barrel trash cans throughout here, even with a little bit of wiggle room, you know, so that, that was, I don't regret it at all. And I'm very glad we did it. So that was definitely, you know, the one thing I just thought about when we got the truck. Um, and it's a small, it's a small bed too. So we weren't putting, you know, how much, how much leaves can you really fit in here? How much grass can you really fit? Not a lot, you know? We did it a couple times and it was pretty pointless. So again, I will, next truck I buy will have the eight foot bed, like the Ram over there. That'll never happen again. Um, but besides that guys, I mean, that's, that's, you know, mainly it. I just wanted to go over the Ram again. It's a, it's a 2018. It's one up from the tradesman, nothing fancy, but it definitely gets the job done when it's pulling this trailer and that trailer filled with mulch. It's really nice. You know, I didn't want to spend the money for a diesel. I just I just don't see it. You know, if I was pulling equipment seven days a week, yeah, but I'm pulling stone and mulch three to four days a week, you know, mainly for eight to ten months out of the year. So that was pretty much it. And, you know, again, the tool, the, the, and actually these windows open too in the cap. So, uh, you know, it gets very hot in here in the summer. And, you know, you have gas in here. Again, head head up lowers down here, but that was that was the biggest deal, you know. And then once we got the truck, we put the logos on, things like that. Um, but besides that, guys, that's that's about it, you know. I just wanted to really go over the truck, you know. We got a deal on it. It was the end of the year, and at first I had a F-150, but I knew I needed something bigger. This was, you know, like I said, three years ago. That Ram and the F-150 were were doing it, you know, but needed something bigger and I, and I have no regrets at all at all um and that's mainly it for the for the ram guys again i just wanted to kind of go over it you know and just like our other ram over there we have the light up top because we use this for snow but you know and i think i went over in here you know we did the seat covers that's my biggest thing and like i said with the other truck too you know we wanted to go with the seat covers so you know, nothing gets messed up for when slash if we sell in the future. Um, but this thing pulls great. There's no issues at all. We like to buy our stuff under warranty just so there's no no problems. You know what I mean? You don't want to be down in the middle of the summer, you know, with something used and you have nothing else. I, I mean, I know, I know you got to start somewhere. Like I said, we started with our F-150, beat the piss out of it until, you know, we had enough to buy this one in the ram the other ram over there so that's why we went with that um you know but all right guys i think that's about it you know so that's our ram 2500 again it's the 57 hemi not the diesel but she definitely puts in her time and so far like i said um we got 13,000 miles on it. Yeah, 13,000 and no issues whatsoever so far. Obviously, we do the oil twice a year and get everything looked at, but no issues so far. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.